And there were some real fireworks just before Kirby came in as well. Uh, the part of the briefing that we didn't take live, Jason Sudeikis and the cast from Ted Lasso came out uh, to the podium. And as they were departing the uh, dais before Kirby came up, Jason Atiba, who's a correspondent for Today News Africa, who claims that he is, or sorry, Simon Atiba, uh, from Today News Africa, who claims that he has never been allowed to ask a question, uh, got into it, uh, mostly with his colleagues, over not being called on again, and it erupted into a bit of a shouting match. Listen here. Like, so you have a choice. No, you, the, you have a choice. Case, you have a choice. A number of people okay. in the briefing room, and I'm saying that that's not right. This is not China. This is not Russia. This is the United ah! States. This is the White House. No, no, no. It's so been so seven months. I sent you here. You're not in Russia, Mr. Kirk, too, pal. It has been seven months. You guys have not done anything for me. If you have grievances, you should bring them to her later. I have right done now, that. I have done that. All my force. emails have been ignored. And the press corps is tired of dealing with it. As you all know, many of you know, all praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Kodash. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Kodash. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world everybody calls God. Yahweh, meaning he exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai, who the world everybody calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning he delivers, he saves. Bahashem, meaning in the name. Rakaha Kodash, spirit holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule world, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akiam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own eyes throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwathiam listening, listen and learning in sincerity and in truth and in silence. Shalom. Akiam meaning brothers, Akwathiam meaning sisters, Shalom meaning peace be unto you. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp here in Toronto with another lesson. And we'll get right into it. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 10, verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people, right? A wise judge, ruler, prince, uh, prime minister, president, chancellor. Right, will instruct his people, instruct, uh, 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 impart, impart uh, direction, uh, lead, provide information, right? Instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man, the government who's in rulership, right? His counsel. Of a prudent man, prudent meaning wise, is well ordered, right? Order. Scriptures say that all things be done in decency, in decency and in order. Roughly paraphrasing. That's in 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter, right? And Babylon, America, they great, clear, clearly has no order. It's not being ruled in righteousness. Everything is upside down. The woman is put above the man. What does that lead to? Chaos. As the judge of the people is himself, right? The judge of the people. As the judge, the, the ruler, the leader, the prince, the president, the prime minister, the chancellor. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, right? So however, however that leader is, whatever his attributes are, so are his officers, those that are around him. His counsel, his government, those that follow him. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, what manner of man. Right? Who he is. His behavior. Such are all they that dwell therein, right? The same way those that follow him, the same way as citizens are going to be. So if the ruler is in chaos and out of order, guess what? His citizens, his people... His officers, they're going to be in chaos and out of order. Right? And we saw this clip here. Let's, let's run it again. Listen here. 
Like so you have a choice. No, you, you have a choice. Case, you have a choice. A number of okay. In the briefing room, and I'm saying that that's not right. This is not China. This is not Russia. This is the United ah! States. This is the White House. He's been seven months. I sent you seven months. You're not rest of us are here too, pal. He's been seven months. You guys have not done anything for me. If you have grievances, you should bring them to her later. I have right done now, that. I have done that. All my emails have been ignored. And the press corps is tired of dealing with this. As you all know, many of you know, this is the White House press briefing room, a historic room, a room that should have decorum, a room where folks should respect their colleagues and respect the guests that are here. What I will not appreciate is disrespecting your colleagues and disrespecting guests who are here to talk, who were here to talk about an incredibly important issue, which is mental health. Let's get a scripture. And, and the whole world is seeing this. That's on Fox News, mainstream media. The whole world saw that clip. Isaiah 3 verse 4. And I will give children to be their princes and babes shall rule over them. Right? And who are the children? Esau and Edom. Right? Ruling over the Israelites. Right? Children and babes. Esau and Edom. Why? Because Esau came from us. Right? The Lord put them, the base man. Let's go down. Let's jump down. Matter of fact, we'll read verse 5 as well. And the people, Isaiah 3 verse 5, And the people shall be oppressed, Israelites, every one by another, and every one by his neighbor. The child shall behave himself proudly, the child, Esau, against the ancient, against Israelites. And the base, who's the base? Job chapter 30. The base man, Esau, Edom. The Idumean, these ruling class elites, these banking families, the so-called white man. And the base against the honorable. Who's the honorable? Israelites. Right? Uh, jump down to uh, verse 12. Isaiah 3 verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Right? Children being Esau. And women rule over them. Right? Women are made are, are, are put in a, a, a position of rulership. Authority. Right? What does it say in... Uh, um, First Corinthians eleven, right? No order. First Corinthians eleven, verse twelve, verse three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach. This is the order. This is Paul speaking to the Corinth to the Corinthians in Corinth, letting them know there's an order of things. The Corinthians being Israelites, right? And what is the order? Verse three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh. Right? That's the order. The father, the son, the man, and then the woman. Right? That's why in that clip you could hear chaos, man. There's a woman screaming in the background. Right? Right? And this is for the whole world. The whole world is seeing this and, 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 and deeming America the Great, Babylon the Great, to be weak. Isaiah 3 verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Right? Whose people? Yahweh B'Shem Yahshai's people, who are Israelites. O my people, Israelites, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. Right? Nothing but upside down. Let's get that. Um, no order. Isaiah 29, verse 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. And who turned things upside down? Who 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 uh, uh, who who did away with order, Isa. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? Right, and that's what Esau does, man. Esau says, "Listen, it's science, it's Big Bang. There's no God. Do as thou wilt." Right. Trust the science. That's what Esau says. Right? But it's clearly this place is uh, 
waxing worse. It clearly it's waxing worse and worse. Right? What's the scripture say? Uh, if Satan can Satan stand against Satan, if Satan a matter of fact, I'm butchering it. I'm butchering it. Matthew. Matthew three. Is it three? So like in Mark. Is it Mark three? Mark chapter 3. Mark chapter 3 verse 23. And he called unto him and said unto them in parables. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself. That kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself. That house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself. And be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end, right? And you're seeing America's divided, man. Right? And if they're divided within within behind closed doors, in, in in the eyes of the public, amongst their their cabinet, their congress, their government, guess what? Right? It's gonna wax worse and worse. And then we're seeing BRICS nations, uh, their members continue to uh, to grow, you know. You're seeing nations renounce or or declare that they want to go bricks. This morning I was reading an article briefly that Honduras has le has has left the uh their 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 uh has left Taiwan being allies with Taiwan and now have expressed that they're allies with China. Right? I pray you're edified. I don't want to shall warm to the hopeful elect. So you have a choice. You, you have a choice. You have a choice. Okay. And I'm saying that that's not right. This is not China. This is not Russia. This is the United States. This is the White House. He's been seven months. I sent you seven months. He's been the rest of us are here too, pal. He's been seven months. You guys have not done anything for me. If you have grievances, you should bring them to her later. I have right done now, that. I have done that. All my emails have been ignored. And the press corps is tired of dealing with this. As you all know, many of you know, this is the White House press briefing room, a historic room, a room that should have decorum, a room where folks should respect their colleagues and respect the guests that are here. What I will not appreciate is disrespecting your colleagues and disrespecting guests who are here to talk, who were here to talk about an incredibly important issue, which is mental health. And what has just occurred this last 10, 15 minutes is unacceptable. It's it, it is unacceptable. So we're gonna. So we're either going to continue the briefing, or we can just end the briefing right here. No. Okay. Well then, let's go. All right. Well, Simon Atiba's call is not happy.